to you by Shelter Insurance. Proud to be a part of high school sports. Your local Shelter Insurance agents were your shield, were your shelter. The Haggerty Insurance Agency at 517 East Main Park Hills, taking care of their customers for 49 years with honest and consistent service. Here's Megan Skaggs. Boy, she had a good last couple of weeks. Drives on her defender down the lane and lays it in. She's got all four of the points of the ball game. It's Megan Skaggs, four. Everybody else, zero. 6.48 to go quarter one. Well, her first step there was so good. Bader has a size advantage, but there's no question. I think athleticism-wise that you would have to think, okay, Skaggs is going to win that battle if it's athletes against athletes. Gillum tried to feed it. Sydney Skaggs drills both free throws. It's the Skaggs is six, 6.16 to go quarter one. Megan's got four. Sid's got two and a couple of free throws. Farmington. You got Craig Gibbs. Lob inside to Sydney. Now that's Megan Skaggs with the catch of the finish. She's got her first basket. Central in transition, right to left. Jones to Megan, right of the lane. Tries to spin into the paint. Ran into Jenna Haynes and got fouled. And Macy not also there. It's going to go on. Not actually. It's going to be her first club second. So Macy not and Allie Golden have the two Potosi fouls. And things are not going well for the Lady Trojans out of Potosi to start this one off. Not even two and a half in. They're down six rock. First free throw is going to be a little bit strong from Megan Skaggs. Central's lone loss this year. Dexter on the road. January 20th, a team they could see if they can win their district out in Potosi. That free throw is good. By Owen. Matt Bradley yelling back. Get back on defense with Central coming down floor in a hurry. Megan Skaggs penetrating down the lane with the drop step. Able to get to the hole. And that is what she has done for the better part of three quarters of the year that we didn't see a lot of last year out of her. That was tremendous. 12-4, Central leads by eight. Central leads by eight. Oh, we talked about that in the pregame show as well. Here's a deflected ball, stays with Potosi into the far sideline. And Megan Skaggs, her ability this year to really get some penetration and draw the defense. Can I just say that family just has some good genes when it comes to sports? <laughs> <laughs> You just constantly hear their names and how well they're, how good of athletes they are. There's a couple of families like that that we've gone through over the 13 years I've been here. Up top, Megan Clapp. You talked about the Skaggs as we had Drew last year, who was one of the best players in the conference. Sydney this year, who's a junior. Megan this year is a sophomore. They are tremendous volleyball players, the girls are. I know they play, play a lot of beach volleyball in the summer, those two-on-two -two tournaments and stuff. and. That'd pretty, be fun. pretty nice when you're uh, that close as sisters, you're your teammates on a two-on-two -two volleyball tournament through the summertime at a number of different events. And I'm talking about going like to Florida to play. Jeez. Came up to me before the ball game and said, now be nice tonight. Because they know you. <laughs> 18 to go in the quarter. Potosi, a bad pass on the sideline. Jones in transition. Needs some help. Finds a trailer. Megan again down the lane through defense and scores. The inability for people to pick up Megan Skaggs, she's got seven, and that's going to take us to the end of one. Golden ran into Megan near half court, won't get a shot off, or will she? Nope. And that'll start of the second quarter. Greg Allen, Lacey Tattish here with you on the Parkland Sports Leader. Haynes inside blocked by Megan Skaggs. It stays with Potosi. That quarter break brought to you by the Unit Center. They're in Montero, just north of North County High School. Jenna Cooley, left elbow jumper. Nope. And by well, Central. One thing Matt Bradley told us in the pregame show, they've got to shoot the ball well. They are not through the first eight minutes tonight. Cooley had it dislodged by Megan Skaggs and off Cooley and out of bounds. And Central gets the basketball back. One, they're not hitting shots. And two, Central's points are coming much easier here in quarter two. And plays like that will help. A steal by Megan Skaggs. Needs help. Finds Sydney in the lane from 13. Passed in the shot. Gives to Jones. Got fouled and hit the shot. And Mackenzie Jones has eight. And Central is laying it on Potosi. It's 20 to six. Well, I mean, I don't mind getting the call saying I can sleep till 10. I mean, <laughs> I'll trade you. You can go to work for me. And I'll baseball, the captain of the Yankees, number two, and almost absolute sure Hall of Famer. That three ball is sent into the first row. Never got off the hands of Cooley, and Megan Skaggs just annihilated into the first row. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 32 for Nate drew both defenders back, both Jagses, but the pass wasn't on the money to not. Missed shot by Cooley. In the lane, Megan Skaggs picks it up, gives it out to Olivia Casey up the left sideline. Casey with the dribble. Gives but now it's just kind of uh, kind of muddied up a little bit. Megan Skaggs got a finish in the paint. Falling down had enough to get it over the rim, and it fell in. 